So an easy place to get from initial invention to where the business is today? I'd say absolutely not. <laughs> and I know that. <laughs> absolutely not. So I, if I just think about seven years ago when we invented the technology, I think I met you at that time. Mm -hmm. and, and the infrastructure at Iowa State was, was not there for commercializing new technologies. Mm -hmm. um, so since then, the ag startup engines definitely played a role in, in advancing me as not just being a scientist engineer, but someone that knows how to run a business, but also the Iowa State Startup Factory as well as, it just seems like the ecosystem here at the university now is a completely different place than when we started. Yeah, because if memory serves me right, um, that isn't that you started in a bad place, but your assumption was that you had a system that would yield very well in growing algae. Yep but you would harvest that and make biofuels, which was one of many businesses looking to do that at that time. But that didn't turn out. Did it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know, we invented the technology to try to grow algae as low of cost as we can. Mm -hmm. um, and like you mentioned, the reality is, uh, or we started looking at it from biofuels, but the reality is, is biofuels are inexpensive and you couldn't make money using our system. So we really pivoted from trying to use our system just to grow algae to make money to using our system to treat wastewater, treat nitrogen and phosphorus from water. And then the algae is still produced, but it's just a value added product. Mm -hmm. So that makes the economics completely different than just trying to produce something to make biofuels out of. Mm -hmm. So is there a particular moment that you can point to when the insight came, okay, we, we, we can grow algae relatively low cost, not low cost enough to be in biofuels, but it can actually be a really efficient system for cleaning wastewater. Right, right. Yeah, there, there's one There's one instance I can point to. Uh -huh. So um, I was at the Algae Biomass Summit. <laughs> Gosh, I'm trying to think about where it was. I think it was in Denver, Colorado. And this is when 500 uh, algae researchers get together and talk about their innovation. And while so I was algae at, people dancing on the table. <laughs> it, it's, it's a wild time. It is. It is. Um, but when I was at this, I was presenting our technology, which was really like, hey, we can grow algae really efficiently. Mm -hmm. And um, I met two fellows from the city of Chicago that was looking to um, use algae to clean wastewater, something that we really hadn't looked into at that point. Well, they looked at our technology and they really liked it. And what they were doing was they were looking throughout the world for an algae system that could be used in Chicago. And the cool thing is they selected our system out of all the ones that they saw. So at that point, we're like, well, the world leader in wastewater treatment is selecting our system uh, to... to to use algae, we better take this seriously. So that was our big. They pivot. believe in it. Maybe you should. Yeah, do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So that kind of taken us down the road that we've gone down the last probably four and a half years now, really focusing on adapting our system to mm -hmm. clean water. So of course, it's impossible to go back in time and ask questions like, "How might have it turned out had I not went to that conference?" But by going to the conference, and not just going to the conference, but by meeting these folks from Chicago. Yeah led to an idea that was different, led to a project with the city of Chicago that's been transformational for you. Sure. Yeah, it, it's interesting to think if that conversation didn't exist, we, I would, you know, who knows where we would have got this information, but it's very likely we wouldn't be sitting here right now. Mm -hmm. um, another background story about myself is that when I graduated with my PhD, I got, a, I got an offer with a really good company to, to go into industry. Well, I think I probably would have taken that offer if, uh, if this uh, opportunity with Gross Wind wasn't in place. So it's kind of interesting mm -hmm. to look back on these pivot moments and 